Lake House. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many hours, days, months, and years that it has taken to envision, plan, and to bring to fruition this special day. Bless all the people, and there are very many people, that have been involved in all the work that has brought us to the moment of this reopening of the Kilauea Point Lighthouse. Keaku Manaloa, we ask a blessing upon this land that the lighthouse stands upon and all the land area that belongs to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that surrounds and supports the lighthouse. Bless all those who come onto this land, keeping them safe and plant within them a spirit of aloha and respect for what surrounds them. Lord, as we stand here in the beauty of this day, we thank Thee for Your awesome creation that surrounds us, the ocean and the creatures below it, the heavens and the creatures above us, the land and the creatures upon it. Your awesome wonders, Lord, are magnificent, and we give Thee thanks. No laila, e ho nani i ai oi loko kaino kama kua ki keiki ka uhane hemolele. Amen. Mahalo, Lady Ipo, for such a beautiful blessing. I do truly feel blessed to be here today and so honored to be amongst you all. Mahalo to Keanu for blowing the pool as well. Thank you so much. The Fish and Wildlife Service and the staff at the Kilo Point National Wildlife Refuge are so glad to have Lady Ipo and Kumu Naomi Yokotake and her fifth and sixth graders from Kilauea School here today, along with Mayor Bernard Carvalho, uh, David KK Kahaunaile, and all of you here to celebrate the reopening of the lighthouse after several years of restoration. 100 years to the day, our community, Kupuna to Keiki, gathers again to bless the lighthouse so that it may continue to stand on the refuge as a link to our past and our future. Restoration of the lighthouse began with a small group of committed individuals passionate about this piece of history and its role in our community. This quickly grew into an effort supported by the community, the Kilauea Point Natural History Association, the late Senator Inouye, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I'd like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank all of those individuals that I mentioned, including again the Kilauea Point Natural History Association, Senator Inouye and his family, and all of you who helped us along the way on, in this journey to restore the lighthouse that you see behind me. Mayor Carvalho has honored us with his presence today, and I'd like to invite him to come up and speak for a few minutes about the lighthouse. Uh, good morning and aloha. aloha. This is a great, great day, everybody, as we come together to really, as a community, uh, our visitors from the different parts of Portland and Colorado and California, welcome. And you have your own stories. I got to talk story with some of you and of this very, very special place on Kauai. And of course, like Keiki to my right, I'll be performing very shortly, but again, it's the future everybody and nice to have them here part of this wonderful day our reverend our pastor has has grown to be a wonderful person for our island and she lived here with uncle kk right here so we have a wonderful cross section of people who have their own stories and and background to this beautiful place for me my wife regina for me born and raised on this beautiful island of Kauai, and i time i come here visit this is another awe moment, moment, if you will, as we continue to appreciate Kauai, appreciate this lighthouse. This lighthouse is a beacon of light, not only for Hawaii, but for the world. And as we continue to attract people to come and visit and understand the essence of who we are as Kauai, uh, as people who live here, and to appreciate and respect each other. And that's what it's about. And as mayor, I really enjoy the opportunity, of course, to in, in, invite and embrace and share our story and that's what it's about today this lighthouse means so much to so many this is the foundation the rock the pohaku if you will that will continue to attract people to come and understand our story and to all the people who are organizers the fish and wildlife people the volunteers and all the people who put their sweat and tears and hands and everybody coming together 
to restore this wonderful landmark of Kauai. It's sharing Kauai with the world. So thank you for being here. I look forward to meeting and talking with all of you. But understand that we are standing in a, such a very special place. Like I said, this beacon of light will, will attract the world to come here and appreciate what Kauai is for. And it's our responsibility to keep Kauai Kauai as best as we can so people can enjoy and our local families can also be here to share their stories and most importantly, our keiki who are up and coming for the future. So mahalo to all the organizers. Thank you for being here. Aloha, mahalo, people, and God bless. Mahalo, Mayor, for that. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Gary Smith. Gary is the co-chair for the Capital Campaign, the fundraising event that helped kick off the restoration for the Lighthouse. Turn it on. Um, he's a part of this group of folks who inspired and started that fundraising effort. Aloha, kakayaka kako. Aloha. Uh, Mayor Kamal, you don't have to worry because I'm not. I have no political ambitions. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're all gathered here today to express our great aloha for this icon here, Kilauea Lighthouse. And this beloved lighthouse be began. In this, in this celebration of the 100th anniversary for the grand opening of this lighthouse in May 1st, 1913, as well as the completion and restoration and grand reopening exactly 100, 100 years later, exactly on this very day. How wonderful that we can celebrate both. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful. I think yeah. it's just amazing. As any older person will tell you, the ravages of time are not generally kind, and neither are they to an old lighthouse. On its 89th anniversary, our lighthouse was really showing its age, and so the idea to restore it was born. When U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Ranger Dave Applin orchestrated the initial research and planning to put the restoration process in motion. With the support of the Kilauea National Wildlife Refuge staff, its amazing volunteers, volunteers stand up proudly and raise your hand because you guys are amazing. Yes. And just a little help from Senator Inoue, <laughs> we have finally achieved what we set out to do 11 years ago. Today we stand here and proudly display, display our magnificent lighthouse to the rest of the world. And proudly, I say. There are so many people to thank for their efforts, monetary donations, and overall support that I could not possibly list them all. However, when looking back, a few come to mind that represent all our good intentions. A brick salesman, extraordinaire, Patrick, Jane and staff, who wrestled with the layout, individual wording, and so much more, to Nikki and the rest of the pattern gurus, and to Bricklayer Lee, we were able to raise the initial funds to assist the U.S. Fish and Wildlife in getting the project started by laying the memorial brick pathway approach that some of you are now standing on. <laughs> to Alan and Carol Hill, who took a leap of faith and made the first monetary donation of $10,000 before we even formally started our campaign. To the leadership of Sue Boynton, KPNHA president and her staff, as well as our refuge manager, Shannon Stutzer-Smith and staff for leading us during a time of great change and renovation at the point. Earlier I spoke to Shannon and, and told her how I was <laughs> admiring her for being the refuge manager that has probably seen more changes, more repair, more uh, things that had to be done in an emergency situation, starting with the septic, with the lead removal from the soil around the lighthouse, and on and on, that she has probably been the busiest refuge manager that we've ever had. So a big hand for Shannon. I thank all of you. 
Together we have plotted forward with this hardest task to arrive at this momentous day. To all the unsung heroes, I cannot thank you enough for your effort. A big mahalo nui to you all as we revel here today in our accomplishment. So, mahalo ya oko no ko ko oko ko ko anamai simply said, thank you all very much. Mahalo Gary. At this time, we'd like to have Kumu Naomi Yokotake and her fifth and sixth graders from Kilauea School sing a few songs for us on this fine day. this morning is entitled Kila Kila Kilauea. It was a composition by the late Kumuhula educator uh, Pohaku Mishimitsu. He wrote it especially for Kilauea and Kila Kila Kilauea means majestic is Kilauea with its beautiful lighthouse showing the correct way for the boats that pass by here and um, we are in the Ahupua'a, or excuse me, the district of Ko'olau. So you hear that Heamai Ko'olau, come to Ko'olau, the lighthouse will be uh, welcoming you to this district. Kila Kila Kilauea. the students, teachers, and Kumu Yokotake from Kilauea Elementary School. 
for the songs and the dance. I am so proud of you all. That takes a lot of practice and dedication, so mahalo to you again. This time I'd like to have uh, Lady Ipo come up again and she will conduct the blessing to open the lighthouse. And right after that, her father, David KK Kahalnaile, will come up to officially open the lighthouse. As I do the closing prayer, I'd like to have my dad come up, the mayor come up, and every volunteer, because it's the Hawaiian way. If we don't have volunteers to help us, we cannot fulfill the vision and all of the kilowatt, all of your group, too. Come on up. Please, lift your leo high, lift your voices high. E kuli kako, e koma koma kui loko kalani, e hauli ya kui noa, e hiki mai koa puni malami ya koma ke maki makonua nei, e liki mai ya malami ya makalani la. E havi mai ia mako i ke ia la, i aina mako no ne ia la. E kala mai ho ia mako i ka mako lawe hala ana me mako i kala nei ka poe lawe hali ka mako. Mai ho uku o ia mako i ka ho o vali vali ia mai. E ho opa kele no na ia mako i ka ina. No ka mea, no ke au puni, a me ka mana, a me ka ho o nani ia mao lo aku. Amen. We'd like to thank you all so very much for coming. We are going to have the Kilauea students do one more song. And if you'll stay seated, that will conclude the program for today's event. Mahalo nui to all for coming. Thank you so much for being a part of this event. <laughs>